Today's walkers are going to Hawthorne Dean, which is just the other side of Seam, which is so it's only a short run out. Uh, it usually takes about, they usually walk for about two, two and a half hours to three hours. What they'll do is I'll drop them off and they'll, they'll tell me where they want to meet them. And I, I usually hang about for a few minutes in case anything goes wrong. And then after a while, I'll shoot to where they're going to finish and just sit and wait for them. Hawthorne Dean, but I've never heard of it. It's, it's all a big adventure for me. It's the other side of Sam. <laughs> Oh, I, no, see, there's, there's I heard about it through me, me two friends and um, I walked myself on a night line but then when they were seeing all the different places where they're going and, and, and how nice it is, I thought, oh, so I thought, well, I'll join. So I, I went to the age concert and beach road and shield, filled the form in and um, four days later I get a phone call off Norma who, who organises it and would you like to join? So, I said yes, and I've enjoyed it, it's good. I really enjoy it. It's a nice, nice crowd of people who, who come to the boat and they're very friendly. So, I it's a social thing, it keeps your, your brain ticking and your joints. Get out of the house. Get out of the house. <laughs> Go on, get yourselves off, enjoy yourself. Bye. Yeah, I think it originally started with um, an idea that people who uh, maybe need to get a little bit fitter or recovering from an illness um, started doing walking as a recreational activity to improve the health. So I, I think it's definitely been a worthwhile project. Basically, apart from you, Gwen, I didn't know anybody in the club, did I? But obviously people are very friendly and you just start to get to know everybody very quickly. So it's a, it's a good thing to do. Exercise? Exercise, yes. Chit chat, we talk a lot. <laughs> I think as, as well, regardless of the weather you turn out, because we've had some days where we thought, oh, we won't go today. It's not that if you had a choice to walk on a day, and when we started walking, the weather's just made up, so it ended up a lovely day. So it just gave you a purpose to get out and walk, because uh, you know that the group's going to go. I enjoy it. It's uh, meet friends, have a day out in the fresh air, and a bit of exercise. Really? One of the big things for me is appreciating the local area, because the areas like this where you just don't even know exist, I think that's been a, a big one for me, but not so far from home where there's so much on offer for walking. When I first retired, it took us a while to get organised, so I joined uh, Age Concern odd activities. They, they taught us how to do a laptop, uh, you know, and stuff like that. And then I do these, did this walk, and I've been coming here for a year, doing the walks with them. And it is the only group activity I do. Everything else I do by myself. But it's difficult when you're first retired. Because you have a routine. Now I don't have a routine, I get lost sometimes, you know what I mean? See this quarry, guys? A lot of the limestone from here, years and years ago, as well as being used in steel making, um, used to go to Holland. Uh, on ships and they used to then spread it on the fields in Holland to break their clay up because their, their uh, fields were... Yeah. I've been involved quite a long time actually, uh, when it first started um, somebody I know knew socially asked us would I come down and give them a bit of help with some navigational training because I'm a professional mountaineer instructor and that's how I got roped in to start with now I just turn up um, if they need some additional help and support or as a spare seat on the bus and they can't fill the bus if I happen to be home, you know. I quite enjoy the group because it's, uh, it's some right characters at the moment. You know? And it keeps people out of fair fresh air all the time. Uh, people who are familiar 
well, wouldn't, wouldn't normally do this. Uh, would come out and do it because it's the feel of a nice, safe environment with people who can, you know, not get them lost, sort of thing. I've come to retirement age, and I and I feel time's ticking on, and I think until you get to that age, you don't realise what it's like to be because you do start getting aches and pains and God knows what it, that you didn't realise before. I just think age concerned do a really good job. I really do.